we are now uh, finally moving um, after six months of uh, strenuous uh, efforts the IEA is moving in to the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant as you know we have a very very important uh, task uh, there uh, to perform uh, to assess the real situation uh, there, uh, to help uh, stabilize the situation in as much as we can. Do you believe that the Russians will let you see what's really happening at the plant? Well, we are we are a team of very experienced people. I'm bringing here um, the best and the brightest in safeguards, in safety, in security, and we will have a pretty good idea of uh, what's going on. You know, with, with all clarity, my mission is a technical mission. It's a mission that seeks to prevent a nuclear accident. We are moving. Uh, we are aware of the current situation. There has been uh, increased uh, military activity, including this morning, um, until very re recently, a few minutes ago. I have been briefed by the Ukrainian uh, regional uh, military uh, commander uh, here about that and the inherent uh, risks, um, but weighing pros and cons and having come so far, we are not stopping. As you know, we are going to start immediately uh, an assessment um, of the security and the safety situation at the plant as it, as it is uh, right now. Uh, we are going to be um, liaising and consulting with the staff um, at the facility. And I am going to uh, consider the possibility of establishing a continued presence uh, of the IAEA at the plant which we believe it's indispensable to stabilize the situation and to get regular, reliable, impartial, neutral updates of what the situation is there. I have just completed a first tour of the key areas that we wanted to see in this first uh, approach uh, to the whole facility. Of course, there is uh, a lot more uh, to do. Uh, my team is uh, staying on and more importantly and most importantly we are establishing a continued presence uh, by the, uh, from the IEA uh, here. Now we have uh, with my team here we have a lot of work in terms of a detailed analysis of some of the more technical aspects uh, of what we saw. And I will continue to be worried about the plant until we have a situation which is more stable which is more predictable. It is obvious that, that the plant uh, and the physical integrity of the plant has been violated several times. By chance, by, by uh, deliberation, uh, we don't have the elements to assess that. But this is a reality that we, we, that we have to recognize. And this is something that cannot continue to happen. The technicians are, uh, well, there are two groups. There is a group that is going to be there uh, until Sunday or Monday, uh, continuing with, uh, with the assessment. Uh, in a certain sense, continuing what I started today in the same places I was looking today. Uh, we could draw up uh, a number of questions and, and initial observations, initial um, assessments, and they are going to dig deeper uh, into that so we can have uh, a report. Uh, we had splendid support from the United Nations uh, security team that is here with me as well. Uh, so I think we showed that the, that the international community um, is there, could be there, and we are continuing this. I would summarize, I, I need to continue my, my, my trip now, I would summarize by saying that our work has only started now. We've just landed, actually, I don't know, three or four minutes ago, after what has been uh, a very important uh, week, I believe, uh, for Ukraine and for nuclear uh, safety. I have, from the beginning of this um, situation, I have been trying to describe um, what is going on and its impact on the safety and the security of the plant, uh, of the plant through a number of pillars that try to address the things that in any nuclear power plant, in any nuclear installation in the world should be taken care of. 
what is behind here and sustaining here is a very thorough technical analysis, of course, of how we see the situation uh, at the plateau. What we are doing there is stabilizing, looking at the safety, at the security, at the safeguards aspects uh, of the plant, in the conviction that if we get this right, this will have some bearing influence in what happens overall.